Yo, what is going on guys? Hope you all are doing well. Uh, three hours ago from making this video, For Honor came out with a Year 7 narrative reveal trailer. And uh, the second I saw that, I want to make like a, uh, a speculation, you know, type of video. Nothing concrete. Um, I did see a couple people already beat me to it, but that's no surprise. Um, but I still wanted to get my ideas out there and then uh, hear what you guys think as well. Um, I'll have the video playing for you in the background. But uh, before I get into that, I also have the uh, roadmap popping up. Uh, it'll show you all the content that's planned. Um, as of today, this video should be up on the 8th. And it's got all the content shown to the 30th. And some stuff that's in there, it kind of makes me think um, what they'll have um, down the road and why I think what it is. Like, for example, uh, Rites of the Jormungandr, which is an event on the 23rd. And on the 9th, which will be tomorrow uh, from watching this video, they may show the Yorm rework going live. And... I'm kind of thinking because of that event, maybe Yorm's testing grounds might be over, it might be done with that, maybe he'll go live, and then a lot of people will have uh, a lot of fun with that, but I guess we'll be finding out. Um, and they also came with towards the end of the video for the narrative trailer, um, announcing that Year 7 was called Swords of Injustice, and uh, I'll also have that up too, it'll show Season 1 all the way to 4, um, with new skins, two new heroes, and a bunch of other stuff in between. So without further ado, let's get into it. So like I mentioned, on the 9th, they'll have the live stream, which will be uh, previewing all the stuff that'll be coming out on the 16th, which will be live. Um, we'll be looking forward to testing grounds, hero skins, the new hero, which is going to be an outlander, which is coming out around, I think it's June 15th. And that'll be the outlander, which will probably be our last outlander for a little while, um, because we can see towards December 14th of this year we'll finally be having our Viking hero come out, and I can't tell you guys how excited I am for that. It's been a while. Um, I know there's, like, the Wulin may need a couple more characters to to help even out the roster there, but I'm sure we'll get to them eventually since we might be coming to a close on our um, Outlanders. So. so to start off, on March 16th, we'll be getting our hero skin, which I, once again, said will be probably most likely previewed on the 9th. Uh, then we'll have a unique throwback, which I could only assume that's another event that we've probably seen before, uh, hence the name Throwback. Um, but we'll be getting an Outlander skin, and I'm pretty excited about seeing that. However, um, we could decide about who it might be for. We could think Pirate, but uh, we, we were kind of thinking, like, you know, we got our hero skin for Warden, and we got our hero skin for, for Raider and then Kensei, so we got the three main um, vanguards out of the way. And a lot of us were thinking at the time that we we're going to get a Tiandi Vanguard skin. But that didn't happen. It went back to the Knights on the fourth, uh, fourth time for getting a hero skin and went to Black Prior. So to say that it might be for Pirate, it, it, I mean, it's possible. I mean, there's only three Outlanders in the game right now. So it could be any of the three. But looking back at it, um, you can see in the trailer, uh, there's this person that's standing on the rocks. And that could be a hint towards maybe, I mean, what looks like a Peacekeeper hero skin. So maybe we might get that in the second season. Or it could be a hint towards uh, um, our new Outlander hero. I guess we're just going to have to wait and see how that plays out. But then we'll also be getting our new and, like I mentioned earlier, our most likely final Outlander um, hero for a little while. And then we'll jump over to Season 3, which is September 14th. Uh, we'll be getting a hero skin for the Wulin, which, then again, I'm not sure it could be for Tiani, but there's nothing concrete. It's all just speculation. Um, we'll be getting a, a Halloween event alongside of that, I, which I assume, seeing the pumpkin there, and it says Halloween. Um, but I guess we'll just have to wait and see. But then December 14th, that's going to be the icing on the cake right there, for me at least. We'll be getting our um, second Viking hero skin, who that could be for. I would like to see it for um, Warlord. That'd be pretty cool. Um, Highlander, Berserker. I mean, they're all really cool characters. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if Shaman or, you know, whoever really. Um, but then we'll also have our new hero, and I will be looking forward to that a bunch. Um, it's been a while since the Vikings had a character. I think the last person they had was Yorm, and everybody knows how much the community loves Yorm and Gunder. Um, but maybe, hopefully, with this live stream coming up tomorrow, we can uh, we could finally see that the rework may go live. I'm not sure. But then, uh, if we connect all this together, and we look at the um, the, the event on the 23rd, like I mentioned at um, the beginning of the video, the event for Rites of the Jormungandr, I mean, we can only assume that we will be getting the reveal 
for his rework tomorrow. So that will be pretty cool. Now if we look back at the image towards the end, the narrative reveal, um, you'll notice that there's no samurai on this, on this uh, layout here. And that could be because we only get four seasons a year and there's five factions now. And I mean, you know, we've had a good run with the samurai and I'm, you know, there's more to come for sure. Um, it's just that they're trying to distribute stuff in a way where it seems um, not repetitive, you know, where we don't get like uh, uh, more or, or, you know, like, like last year we got two outlanders a year. So this is a good good start, but uh, unfortunately no samurai, but I mean, we'll, like I said, we'll have more to come pretty soon. Now with these two new heroes coming out this year on June 15th and December 14th, um, last hero that we had, which was Afira, they went back to mocap and they got new animations rather than a copy and paste um, that we've, we've seen uh, within the recent years. And the community loves new animations. I mean, you know, we're all down for that. So hopefully we can see more of that, that, uh, that push for mocap and that'll be pretty exciting now moving on a little bit more speculation about what these heroes could be i couldn't even throw you a dime in the water and figure out like what i could guess what it would be um we could see stuff as far as like i mean we got a pistol in the game you know we got pirate and not a whole lot of us i mean when we first saw that everybody was kind of throwing our heads up in the air we were like oh my gosh what's gonna happen we're gonna get shot from far away which i mean it's not that bad you know her feats do that but her actual move set incorporates a pistol and whatnot. I mean, it does like five damage after heavy. Um, so, I mean, maybe we could see stuff like uh, uh, lances or maybe bows. But to say that it's far fetched out, I mean, then again, you got to think we got a pistol in the game. So, I guess we'll just have to see. Now, with all this being said, I mean, the biggest thing that the community is really dying for is new maps. I mean, Ubisoft, please give us some more maps. That's what we're looking for. Um, alongside new maps, uh, hopefully we get new modes, new events, not the same ones repeated because that's happened a lot. Um, but regardless, I mean, it's all just, you know, it, it, we're really lucky um, and it's really nice that we get continued support. I mean, after seven years, um, I mean, just look around. You can see a bunch of uh, online service games that have not made it this far. But then again, I mean, it's just, uh, it's really nice that the team is putting in all this effort. And then still, like I said, hopefully going back to mocap and getting new animations and whatnot. But anyways, let me know what you guys think. Uh, just tell me in the comments. I mean, I, I'm really looking forward to it. Um, I'm kind of one of those geeks that scours Reddit um, when every time a hero comes out or a new season or something like that. Like back when Griffin came out, I was like all over Reddit just trying to figure out the new character and trying to see what I could find, like leaks and whatnot. But uh, all this in the video is just, like I said, speculation. Other people have beat me to it, but, you know, it's just uh, it's what to expect, you know. Um, but regardless, I hope you guys enjoy, and I'll see you in the next one.